Here we go, digging for dinosaur bones. Here we go, digging for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones. Here we go, digging for dinosaur bones on a warm and sunny morning. Many people, from workers constructing a new building to children playing in a field, have found dinosaur bones by accident. But scientists travel all over the world to places they think offer the best chance of finding fossils. This is the way we hike the trail. Hike the trail, hike the trail. This is the way we hike the trail on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that died long ago. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. They hunt for them in areas where rocks formed millions of years ago. This is the way we scan the ground, scan the ground, scan the ground. This is the way we scan the ground on a warm and sunny morning. Sometimes when a dinosaur died, mud or sand quickly covers its body. Over time, the body decomposes, leaving behind just the skeleton. Minerals slowly replace the bones, creating fossils. This is the way we excavate, excavate, excavate. This is the way we excavate on a warm and sunny morning. When paleontologists find a dinosaur fossil, they dig around it to look for more pieces of the dinosaur. They also may find fossils of plants and other animals from the same time period. This is the way we sift through dirt, sift through dirt, sift through dirt. This is the way we sift through dirt on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils can be as big as a refrigerator or as small as a grain of sand. To build a dinosaur skeleton, paleontologists want to find every scrap available. They sift dirt through wire screens to find the teeny tiny bits. This is the way we wrap our finds, wrap our finds, wrap our finds. This is the way we wrap our finds on a warm and sunny morning. Sometimes it's safer to leave a large fossil in a surrounding block of stone and to lift it out as one large piece. Paleontologists wrap the block in cloth, paper towels, or even toilet paper. Then they cover it with a hard layer of plaster to protect it during transportation. This is the way we clean the bones. Clean the bones, clean the bones. This is the way we clean the bones on a warm and sunny morning. Back at the laboratory, scientists and technicians carefully clean each fossil. They use chemicals, chisels, brushes, and the picks your dentist uses on your teeth. This is the way we study bones, study bones, study bones. This is the way we study bones on a warm and sunny morning. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, but we have a good idea of what they looked like from their fossils. Paleontologists study fossilized bones like a jigsaw puzzle to decide what goes where when building a dinosaur skeleton. This is the way we build T-Rex. Build T-Rex, build T-Rex. This is the way we build T-Rex on a warm and sunny morning. Most fossil skeletons are not complete when they are found. Paleontologists figure out what the missing parts should be and make models of them. All the pieces, both the fossils and the reproductions, are fitted together on a metal frame to build a dinosaur skeleton. This is the way it bears its teeth, bears its teeth, bears its teeth. This is the way it bears its teeth on a warm and sunny morning. T-Rex had more than 50 large teeth in its massive jaws, some up to a foot long. Scientists think it may have had the most powerful bite of any animal ever. Let's go digging for dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones, dinosaur bones. Let's go digging for dinosaur bones on a warm and sunny morning. Fossils can be found in many places and anyone can hunt for them, even kids. What dinosaurs would you like to find? The end.